Two-time NCAA long jump champ Marquise Goodwin is preparing for the NFL draft and not competing this semester, but head coach Bubba Thornton's team enters the indoor season ranked third nationally. Texas sent three shot putters to the outdoor nationals in 2012. All-American Jacob Thormalen graduated, but Hayden Balio and Ryan Krauser returned. Krauser was the Big 12's outstanding indoor freshman last year. Senior All-American Isaac Murphy will be back for the outdoor season after finishing fifth nationally in the decathlon. Petter Olsen, who finished 12th at the outdoor NCAAs as a freshman in the same event, decided to return to Sweden and is no longer on the team. Senior Kieran Stewart has finished in the top eight nationally and the 110 hurdles in each of his three seasons, and he is a four-time All-American. And look at that quick change. Of course we do that, because speed the name of the game with men's track and field head coach Bubba Thornton. Speed almost like Marquise Goodwin. We know that he was fantastic in the sprints, amazing when it comes to the long jump, but now he's putting that track and field career at Texas on hold to give the NFL a shot. Coach, what kind of advice did you give to Marquise before he made that decision? You know, I'm, I'm his best fan. We're really close. And uh, I'm so excited about the things that have happened for him here in just the last couple of weeks. Uh, but to stay focused, stay, stay rested, do the things that is going to give you the best opportunity to show your talent. And, and that's exactly what he's done. And, and to enjoy this moment uh, because this is – Another season and track can come and go. Mm -hmm. This opportunity, it's, it's the last one. And so it's important for him and us, as he's, re as he's represented us, for us to support uh, the football piece. And we're so excited about leading receiver, most catches, uh, most uh, yards uh, outside of receiving at the last senior bowl. Uh, what, a, what an outing. And then he's been invited to the combine. So... It's, it's really, it makes us all happy and proud for him. Yeah, bright future, whatever direction yeah. he goes in. As far as the direction with the program, without Marquise, how's everything gone so far? It's going. Uh, you know, that's a big hole to fill. And uh, that's probably the one area that right now we're the weakest because when you're planning uh, your team and you have 12.6 scholarships, when you take that kind of a move, you just can't reach over here and grab another guy. Find another Olympian as well. And you put might him on as well too. find a tennis ball and put in there because there's not another one of those guys just to plug in there. And so, but we have some really good guys, Emerson Standards, uh, Gerard Bruner. They're going to fill those holes. Uh, we've got another freshman kid that has showed some potential. And uh, we feel like that uh, we're going to be competitive in those events when we get to the conference meet. What's the biggest strength, you would say, of the team right now? I'd say the team. Uh, it's a good team. Uh, and it, it, it's like, and this is our attitude right now, uh, we have good throwers, good middle distance, distance people, great hurdler. Uh, vaulters are really solid, young high jumper. But you could have a great point guard, and if your team isn't very good, it doesn't do you any good. So we have a nice team. This past week, uh, Joe Stillen ran under four minutes, broke Leo Manzano's record in the mile, and yet we feel like we have three other guys who can run under four minutes on the team. The DMR has the fastest time in the nation uh, right now at 9.31.82. Uh, we're, we know we're going to have to run faster, but that time is actually faster than time that won the national meet last year. And so... We have a lot of good things working. Kieran Stewart, multiple All-American in the short hurdles. Hayden Balio in the throws. Uh, we've got a surprise for him in the multi-events, and we'll let him be a surprise. Uh, but it's, it, it's about the team. It's not about an event area, because an event area really isn't any different than a position on the football team or any other team. So the team is strong. So finally, what do you want to see as far as team growth from a group that's already strong overall before you get to that Big 12 tournament and the championship season? We need to continue to improve 
and our consistency. If we do that, the performances are gonna come, and when the performances come, we're gonna end up on top. It's gonna be, be a great battle, but we feel good about our team and our chances, and right now, it's, it's about having competitions that put us in a setting so we can handle those emotions that come when you get to that championship site. It's the Texas way. Head coach, Bubba Thornton. Thank you, coach. Thanks.